It's time again for another unboxing and review, adventurous ones. Let's get started. Unboxing and review. This is the fourth and final figure of Wave 4 of the Masterverse mm -hmm. figures known as the New Eternia line, but this is also from Revelations and it is Merman. Here he is, new in the box. Well, here he is in the box, not new in the box. You get the idea. Because we're opening this sucker. There's his side artwork. There's his back artwork, along with the figures that are in the line. All right. Hopefully, we have better luck with this because it. I had to you know, while I was off camera. I finally got the Havoc staff in Dum Dum's hand. These plastic bubbles are a pain. Anyways, here's his sword. He's got two extra sets of hands. His trident, another extra set of hands. Let's get it all undone. All right, first things first. The trident, the sword, one right fist, one left fist, Why are you packed so freaking tight? Ugh. A right webbed like hand. And a left webbed like hand. Excuse me. Oh, okay. And there's Merman out of the mm, plastic. Ugh, finally. His elbow joints, butterfly joint up in the arms. Pretty good swivel. Waist joint, pretty good. Head. On a ball joint, pretty good. You can look up and down, side to side. Now, the legs. Does he got good enough leg joints? Let's find out. His feet joints. He can't move his ankles that much. Leg joints, yes. He can practically kick his own butt. Now, let's see if he stands good enough. Oh, what a pain these have been with no the standing issues. Well, he seems to uh, spoke too soon. He seems a little wobbly there. There, I got him. All right, now let's see what he looks like with his weapons in his hand. First, we'll put his trident in. And then his sword. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not as much trouble as I was having with Skeletor there. He's got a good standing. I mean, seriously, he's got a good standing. It's pretty impressive. Now, like I was trying to say before that stupid plastic crap was interfering, he's got two webbed hands, both a right and a left. And he's got two fist hands, both a right and a left. 
Now, that's all. His trident. A pretty good sized weapon. His sword. Pretty well in hand. Good sized weapon. And like I said, he he stands a lot better than uh, once you get the legs straightened out and his feet straightened out because you know feet and everything don't work exactly well. Comparison time. How does he stand? against Skeletor. Yes, I managed to get the Blasted Havoc staff in his hand finally. Ugh, what a pain that was. Okay, Skeletor and him, side to side, back to back. Pretty much a differential height, height treatment kind of deal. Okay. Now I know how he does with Skeletor. How does he fare with He-Man and Tila? All right, here he is with He-Man. Good size parameter, pretty much the same height as he is always to He-Man. Always a little shorter than He-Man. Which means in the case of Tila, Yep, she is shorter than him. Which is pretty much the same in the cartoons and stuff like that. She's always been a little shorter than the bad guys and the good guys. So, pretty good height comparison for Merman. So, let's get everybody lined up here for the final shot. He-Man, Tila. Skeletor. Don't you fall over. And Merman. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Wave four of the Masterverse Revelations, or New Eternia line, if you will. New Attorney of He-Man, Warrior Goddess Tila, New Attorney of Skeletor, Revelations Merman. Great figures, some trouble standing, especially with these guys, but still, pretty good figures to have as a part of your collection and stuff like that. And like I said, these have been showing up at stores like Ollie's and other places, all on clearance, low prices. Grab them while you see them. When you see them, I'm at get them. They're great figures. They're nice to have. If you don't want your kids, your kid playing with your vintage ones and stuff like that, give them these. They're fun to play with. And just make sure small parts are out of the way of choking hazards. Anyways, what do you think, adventurous ones? Do you like the figures? Do you hate them? Let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. We have now hit over 317 subscribers. We're trying to stick at that goal because I got a huge announcement coming up about that 300 subscriber count. Uh-huh. <laughs> Big stuff on the horizon. More videos on the way, so hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our videos. We got more unboxings coming our way, more reviews, probably some cooking videos along the way as well. You never know what's coming up next on the Adventurous Joe ch the <laughs> Adventurous Joe's channel. So, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, leave your comments, and until next time, my adventurous ones, peace out! May the force be with all of you. We have the power, baby! And I'll catch you next time. Later.